Hello, my name is Heather and I'm an oil painter and a mixed media artist. Today I'm going to show you how to create in your mixed media altered book. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos and let's get right to it. So here is the spread that I'm going to show you how to create. This is what it looks like. I used a lot of Tim Holtz products in this spread. Okay, let's get right to it. So you're going to need a book to alter. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to glue the first three pages down to the front cover. So I just put Mod Podge over the first page and then close the book. That will pick that page up. Mod Podge on the next page, then close the book. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to find the middle of the signature, then you're going to count over two pages and then rip a page, and then you're going to do that going the other direction as well. And really it just depends on how many pages you want to glue together and how thick you want your altar book to be. In my case, I'm going to glue three pages together on each side so I can have a really strong um, sturdy page. I'll be using acrylic paint and gesso and stuff like that. So I'm going to glue three pages together. And I'm just going to rip all of the pages out in my book as I go, but you can totally go through all of the signatures and rip all your pages out if you'd like to do that. But I'm just going to do mine just as I go. Okay, so the next step is I'm just going to put down uh, all different types of papers, um, just like a collage of random different scrap papers I'm kind of going to do a scrap base and then we're going to be painting on top of this Okay, so the next step is I have two different colors of acrylic paint. I have like this tealy color and then a gray color. And I'm going to take a credit card and dip my credit card in my paint and just um, lightly scrape it over the papers. It just creates this cool kind of textury look and you're still able to see some of the underneath papers, which is cool. We're 
really this is all about layers. So this layer has to dry before we add another layer. So um, I'm definitely going to be getting out that heating tool. Once that layer is dry, then I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but I'm going to do it with this gray color. And I'm just going to skim over all that texture and the paint's just going to pick up through the texture. So the next step is I have some gesso and I'm just going to take it and paint over the piece. And then I'm going to take a magazine, a page out of a magazine and lay it over the top of that and then pull it up. And look at how pretty that is. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side. Lay a piece of magazine over it. And then pull it up. And you can do that several times just to pick up as much of the paint as you want to. Then you're going to get your heating tool out and let that layer dry. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I have this beautiful tissue paper by Tim Holtz that's got like all these beautiful flowers and I am going to lay that down with some Mod Podge. I lay some Mod Podge down and then I put another coat on top of the tissue paper. Okay, then get your heating tool out and make sure that that layer is dry. Okay, so I have three squares here and what I'm gonna do is use some Tim Holtz paper and just do some simple collage on the front of these three squares that I cut out of a cereal box.
going to take these three to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew like a window in each of them. And of course ink with some vintage photo before you do that. See how I just sewed like a window? So cute. Okay, so the next thing is I have this stencil and I'm using some vintage photo. And I'm just going to stencil this on with a makeup brush in a few places. Okay, so the next step is to get your Fabri-Tac glue and glue on the little windows that we created with the Jim Holtz paper and the cereal box. And I'm just laying my book weight on top of that just to till the glue dries a little bit. Okay, so the next step is I have this little Tim Holtz girl and some wings and I'm going to glue that um, with some art glitter glue and sit her in front of the window.
Okay, and then the next step is to get out your stipolo. And this is my favorite thing to use for shading, especially when doing mixed media works. And I'm just gonna go around the entire piece using my stipolo. You can add a little water and that uh, just makes it smudge. It's so awesome. And you can buy these on Amazon. And that is my art journaling page in my altar book. I hope that this inspires you to create in your altar books. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!